ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about two-step mole problems today. And what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra dimension to our mole road map. And so what you need out in front of you right now is you do need out a, um, well, a mole road map. And you, you all have a copy of those. And see Mr. Camp if you don't have a copy of a mole road map. And it looks like what we see here on the screen. I'm just going to add a couple things into our mole road map here that, that are very useful. Volume up in the up here, upper left-hand corner there. We know that's liters. Um, representative particles. These are our atoms. These are our molecules, and these are our formula units um, if we're dealing with ionic compounds. And of course, down here at the bottom, we have mass right there. And you should probably add this onto your mole road if you have not already. And of course, everything goes through the mole, which is right there in the middle. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, like I said, we have two-step problems here. And let's, so let's take a look at what a two-step problem might look like. So we have this question number one. It says we have 15 grams of helium, and 15 grams of helium will occupy what volume in liters if the helium is at STP? Remember that the STP just tells us um, nothing more than we're allowed to use the mole road, standard temperature and pressure. So our known here, our given quantity, is 15 grams of helium. That's our given. So we're going to start with that real quick here. So we're going to make I'm going to make a really long line. It's not very straight, but it's pretty long. And then um, we're going to throw in 15 grams right here. We always put our known right there. OK, and now we need to figure out um, what our unknown is. What are we looking for? We'll occupy what volume in liters? Okay, so there is our unknown quantity right there. We're looking for liters. And I'm going to throw liters way out here at the end. Now again, the nice thing about this is this tells me where to start on the mole road. And this tells me where to end on the mole road, starting and ending point. So I'm going to come up here, back to my mole road, I'm starting at grams. And so grams is right here. And I'm ending at liters. And liters is up here. Now there's no way to go directly from grams to liters. We have to um, take the road. And so we're going to start off with our first leg of the road is going to be one mole over the atomic mass. So we're going to go head up the road this way to the mole. And so I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to write in one mole right here over, it says, atomic mass, which is the same as molar mass. So I have to grab a periodic table, and you should have a periodic table out as well. And um, we just look up on the periodic table the molar mass of helium, which is 4, just like that. That takes me on my first leg of the journey. Now, we're going to go back up here. and. We've now traveled from grams, right here, to moles, and we're sitting right there. Now we need to go up the road this way to liters, because we wanted to ultimately get to liters. And so we're going to take the second step, um, or the second conversion factor, and we're going to throw it in. And so the second conversion factor is 22.4 liters, and we already wrote liters there, over one mole, just like that. So. Now we have a setup that looks like this. Now what we're going to do is when we plug, plug this into our calculator, um, we multiply straight across the top. Everything gets across the top gets. So it's going to be 15 multiplied by 1, which we don't need to do, multiplied by 22.4. And then we're going to divide it by the bottom, which is 4. OK, so 15, 15 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 22.4. And then I'm going to divide that by 4, which and really is 4 times 4 times 1. And the answer my calculator is giving me right now is giving me 84. And I'm going to double check my sig figs and my, my known sig figs. Um, I have two sig figs there, and 84 is two sig figs, as we know. And um, so we're almost there now. Now I'm going to go check some units here, because I want to make sure my units are canceled out. So grams is on top, and grams is on bottom. They cancel out. Moles is on top, moles is on bottom, they cancel out. And so I'm left with an answer in liters, or unit liters, and that's what I was after in the first place. And so there's my answer, 84 liters. Um, and we could even throw in there, it, it's helium if we wanted to, 84 liters of helium. And that's our answer. And that's how we do a two-step problem. Let's look at, at another one that takes us in a different direction on the mole road now. Again, we've got our mole road map out, and we've got a problem here. So let's look at our problem and see what's going on. So we have, it says 35 liters of carbon dioxide gas at STP, standard temperature and pressure, is equal to how many molecules? OK, so our known quantity is going to be 35 liters of CO2. 
okay, it, at SCP is equal to how many molecules? So we are trying to find molecules, okay? So again, there's our starting point, there's our ending point. And so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna start setting up this problem first and then, um, and then we'll go up and take a look at the mole road. So again, 35 liters of CO2 and we're going to molecules. Now remember, molecules is different than moles. Um, I know the molecules has the word mole in it, but they're two different things. They're two different places on the mole road. Okay, so now let's let's take a look at our mole road here. We're starting again. We want to start here at liters, and so we're starting up here at liters. Oops, there's liters right there. So we're starting right there. That's where we're starting. And then we're ending at molecules. And so molecules is down is over here on representative particles. Okay, I went back and changed some things there. Sorry about that. We had a, a little bit of technical difficulties. But um, again, we're, we were starting at liters right here. We're going to go down the road towards moles. And there's our first conversion factor. And then we're going to do a left-hand turn. And we're going to go up the road right here over to molecules, because that's where we want to end and there's our second conversion factor. So let's go ahead and plug those guys in. So again, our first conversion factor coming down the road from liters to moles is going to be one mole over 22.4 liters. Just like that. We're going to then take a right turn, or excuse me, a left turn and go up towards particles. And so we're going to throw in 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd Avogadro's number over one mole. Just like that. And we know we're stopping there because that's where we need to go. We're going to molecules. And so let's go ahead and scroll down here. And again, to set this up, we can run this all the way through our calculator. Again, we want to multiply before we divide. And so essentially this problem is going to be, as, as we punch it in our calculator, 35 multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And we're going to do that part first. And then we're going to divide it by 22.4. And so let's let's run this through our calculator here. 35 multiplied by 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd divided by 22.4. And so I'm coming up with an answer. And we, we're going to want to round this answer off to two sig figs. And so I come up with an answer of 9.40. So I'm going to call it um, 9.4 because that's two sig figs. And I have to remember that my calculator is giving me times 10 to the 23rd. Okay. Now, so that's two sig figs there, two sig figs times 10 to the 23rd. And I'm going to cancel some things out and make sure my units are correct. So liters cancels out with liters. Remember, those are always on a diagonal like that. Moles cancels out with moles, always on a diagonal. And we're left with a unit of molecules, so this is going to be molecules. We have to include our units to get the problem right, so we know what we're talking about. So 9.4 times 10 to the 24th molecules are how, ma how many molecules are present if you have 35 liters of CO2 gas. Now that is how we do two-step problems, um, and we're going to do some more. We can, go, we can start anywhere on the mole road, and we can end anywhere on the mole road. And sometimes they're one-step problems, maybe from grams to moles. Other times they're two-step problems, maybe from grams to liters. Use the mole road. That will tell you how many steps you need to make. Okay. Have a fantastic day.